Uh, my name is Annabelle Waititu, and I'm the Executive Director of the Institute of Environment and Water in Kenya. And what is the reason for your um, attendance at the Capacity Development Symposium? I was here because I was also a chair of one of the sessions on the role of the citizens in capacity development to address uh, their own needs. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and of course I wanted to also learn how capacity building can be made more effective because as an institute we do a lot of capacity building mm -hmm. and we know that there is no end to learning and making our own initiatives more effective and also efficient. So could you maybe briefly um, elaborate on what the main needs are um, in your region? The main needs um, for capacity building and especially to do with uh, how we do delivery of capacity development mm. initiatives so that um, we can be able to address the local needs and uh, in particular it is very important in our own levels to ensure that we are able to manage issues of conflict mm. uh, for water uh, resources and water supply because it is a key issue of concern in the region but it is also how we manage our water supply systems mm -hmm. and uh, involve um, the various groups at different levels so that the stakeholder uh, perceptions are well taken on board. But it's, it is also about how we collaborate and partner with uh, various institutions and stakeholders to be able to make our capacity development more effective. Well, and since also today is the last day of this uh, three-day symposium, um, what are kind of the messages that you would like to take home with you? One of the key messages is that uh, effective and efficient capacity building uh, development is possible. Like we have already seen that there are quite a number of methodologies that are being used in different parts of the world and uh, they have been shared in this symposium and I think I would want to say that uh, effective and efficient capacity building is possible. Uh, we also want to really uh, emphasize the need uh, for us to interrogate the needs of the target groups that are going to be capacity building so that we can be able to understand what kind of capacities uh, they require. And I think one of the messages that really we want to get out there is interrogate the needs, understand the needs for capacity building and begin to design your capacity building according to those needs.